Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. One of the last promo Fridays in FIFA 22. Preseason is here. And it's actually more about FIFA 23 in today's promo because we know that we will most likely be getting the chance to get some packs, coin boosts, and other rewards for our FIFA 23 Ultimate Teams ahead of time. Maybe give ourselves a little bit of a head start based off of what this preseason promo has looked like in the past. But of course, there will still be content related to this game, FIFA 22, with that loading screen you saw with Shapeshifter, Shapeshifter Heroes, and Tots cards. Definitely still going to be some sort of batch of special cards in packs with upgrades. The 85 times 10s will keep rolling, and a big showdown SBC leak hopefully is dropping today in game with that matchup between Liverpool and Manchester United on Monday. So I want to take a look at that and more in today's Promo Friday video with preseason dropping. If you're excited for a little FIFA 23, FIFA 22 kind of mashup promo, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's once again just talk about what preseason is just a little bit. We've talked about it a lot this week because we know we saw the loading screen. We expected this to be coming. We are going to be getting some sort of FIFA 23 reward to grind towards today maybe multiple different kinds right we talked about the coin boost we expect to see those i would at least we had kickstarter packs last year and we had league of your own packs now the interesting part about all this is the way that we attained these last year was through objectives and sbcs one of the way that we ways that we did it in fifa 21 was we had these warm-up challenges and basically you had to complete the warm-up challenges there was an objective that was tied to this and then once you completed all of them then you were able to get the reward. And it was kind of progressive rewards along the way to get the final. I think one of the final rewards was a Kickstarter pack since this was one of the better, you know, FIFA 22 rewards at the end of last year. What I'm, again, really curious about this year is how quality are these rewards going to be? These were better than the previous year before. So I'm hoping that we do have a chance at getting multiple coin boosts, multiple packs uh, to grind towards. Because if the rewards don't look that good, then how much motivation are we going to have to grind this game right now for rewards that we'll be getting in the start of FIFA 23? So that's the biggest thing that I'm curious about today. What packs will be available? What coin boosts? What chemistry styles? What contracts? How much grind are we going to have to put in to get these FIFA 23 rewards ahead of time. So that's kind of the balance that we're going to have to find out about today. But I'm sure we'll have a web page just like this about preseason promo that is dropping today. And I'm very curious to see what that is about. That's that's honestly the biggest thing for me because that's what this preseason promo is really about is setting us up. And again, it's like the preseason for the upcoming FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. So I'm very, very curious to see what that's about. So definitely watch, watch the objectives, watch the SBCs today. We will see what the value is from the rewards that we can potentially get and just how hard it is to go ahead and get them. Now, also last year as a part of the preseason promo, we had some pretty big pack SBCs, just like we had during footies. We had an 87 times 10 last year during preseason. We had a 90 plus times 10. 88 plus player picks like they were dropping some really big time SBCs towards the end of the year that were giving out some really, really high rated cards. We had showdowns last year. We had the Ben Yedder and the Genduzi showdown. We had the Nani showdown. You guys remember that. But with the big showdown that we have leaked, I am expecting this to drop today. Th this SBC right here was leaked yesterday. Christian Eriksen and Darwin Nunez both transferred cards now in fifa right now darwin nunez we've looked at this he has a liverpool item in the game as i have searched i haven't searched like in the past 10 or 15 minutes or so but erickson does not have a manchester united card yet but i really feel like this sbc could be today i mean i think today is the perfect day for this and as i look again in game I do not see a Christian Eriksen Manchester United squad, but if you load into FIFA today and it says a squad update is required, that would be a clue that maybe they're adding that United Eriksen card into the game. This SBC would be perfect content for EA to drop today. A Nunez and an Eriksen. Seriously, it would be the perfect SBC. It would give us three days to do it, which is right around the normal time frame that they give us for a showdown SBC. Now, once again, just a quick reminder, if Nunez and Eriksen does drop today, how will this go down? Well, on Monday, when the game is played, whoever wins the game, that player will get a plus two. I know that people are like, man, Darwin Nunez, not even able to play because of the red card last week. Well, 
doesn't matter. If Liverpool win this game, which a lot of people will probably expect them to win, he will get a plus two. If that game ends in a draw, it'll be plus one for both cards. And then if a player loses, of course, no upgrade on that item. So hopefully, I mean, these guys are already getting nice stat boosts already. Darwin Nunez would maybe get a plus one or plus two over his Tots card. Erickson would get a plus three, plus two over his fantasy upgrade card. Hopefully five star, five star for both of them. That would be great since it's late August almost anyway. And it would probably be another week from now if the SPC drops today. Uh, that's how long we would have to wait for the winner to get upgraded. Usually it's three to four days, sometimes two if EA is feeling generous after the game is played to get the upgrade. So next Monday, we're, we're probably looking at like a Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday timeframe for the upgrade on the winner of the showdown, which I think it's either today or tomorrow, 100%, because this game is on Monday. So tight time frame if they drop it on Saturday. Really think that they're going to try to drop a splash with the preseason promo today on Friday with this, this SBC. So that's just kind of my opinion on the SBC content for today as a part of the start of this preseason promo related to the FIFA 22 side of things. Now, also in the FIFA 22 side of things, we are still gonna have special cards in packs. As seen on the loading screen, there's still going to be plenty of opportunities to grind today. Now, the only thing that I don't like is the 82 plus player pick and a lot of these upgrade packs, they're expiring today. The 85 times five is expiring today. Uh, well, at least it's re repeatable expiring today. I might have to do mine and then that might change. Uh, the French Tots shapeshifters, a lot of these footies SBCs are going away. All of your upgrade packs, right? They're all going away. So that's going to make the menus and especially the SBCs in general, a little bit less grindable and craftable, right? Um, of course, you've got Varane that is expiring today as well on Friday. The 85 times 10 is not expiring. It is refreshing. So we'll be able to do two 85 times 10s today, but without the 82 plus player pick and that stuff being out, it's going to be a lot harder if you're trying to craft St. Maximin. If you're trying to craft Salah, maybe Mendy, maybe you're still going after Dembele or Neymar, right? It's going to become a little bit harder to craft those SBCs today because A, the upgrade packs are going away, and B, we have to talk about what is going to be in packs. Now, we did have an upgraded loading screen yesterday, which I was hoping that they would do, and they did. And it shows us, and it does confirm, that shapeshifter cards are going to be in packs. Cristiano Ronaldo all the way on the right. Um, are left for you. You've got Vinny in the middle, and then the Shapeshifter hero card here is Ginola, right? We, we kind of did the stats. I also think it's a little bit funny that EA Sports is like hinting at cards that are actually already in packs. All these guys are still in packs right now. Like, it's not a surprise. Um, anyways, it's funny that EA is doing this, but this tells me that Tots cards, Shapeshifters, still going to be in packs today. Now, the only thing that I'm I'm feeling a little bit negative about what's going to be in packs today because right now with batch three for the past two weeks, we have had 200 special cards in packs, like all the shapeshifters, so many tots cards and a lot of stuff in between, right? I think today that they're probably going to drop it down from 200 players. I don't imagine that it would stay the same, but if it does, that would be fantastic. So I think there will be some shapeshifter cards today. And I'm, I'm trying to just th think about maybe some of them that might not be in packs. There's going to be a couple, I think, though, that will not be in packs today, not be included as a part of whatever preseason batch is dropped. So if you're looking at cards on the market today and you're saying, Nate, this promo doesn't really interest me too much. I've grinded all the, the SBCs that I want to grind. I've got the footies players that I want to get. I just need to buy a couple players for my team. When should I do it? If you're looking to buy an end game player for your team, I'm not going to tell you to wait any longer, especially if that card is not going to be in packs today. So look and see when we get, you know, probably today on the game, they're going to release a web page just like they did for footies, just like we were just looking at for FIFA 21 and the preseason promo. There's going to be a list of players that will be in packs today. If the player that you want for your team is not on that list, especially if it's a guy like a Marcelo, a Conte, um, a Ronaldo, a shapeshifter, well, Ronaldo's going to be in packs. He's on the loading screen. But I would just say that pulling the trigger on that sort of card is probably going to be, it, it's going to help you out if you do it sooner rather than later. And also, it's it's the end game. Buy the cards that you want to use and don't wait too long because at this point, you're just running out of time to use those cards if you really want to use them. So again, buy the cards you want to buy if it's in packs today like the ginola like the cristiano ronaldo you're seeing cristiano get get panic sold a pretty good amount right now cristiano was like 2.5 yesterday right now he is 2.17 
2.17, still going to be in packs, still an ultra rare card. There is some panic selling here. There's some panic selling on Ginola. I think there'll be a little bit more of that today. The only thing I'm a little unsure about is where's our pack supply coming at from today? I don't believe that people are saving up packs to open uh, today on Friday. I wouldn't imagine that would be the case just because how can what is in packs right now get better? It really can't. Um, and that's why, I mean, that's, that's why I was saying all this last week that this was the week to full send, right? Do the SBCs you want to do, open the packs you want to open and, and really spend your coins in this last week, um, and have fun because I think it was the best week of this end game portion of FIFA that we were going to have. So that's why I think even if you're like thinking about saving your packs or if you're grinding weekly really fast today on Friday morning to try to get your packs done, I'd say open them before content, because I, in my opinion, there's, there's more special cards in packs. Uh, right now for batch three of footies then there will be later on today for whatever batch is released during preseason although i hope i'm wrong i would love to be wrong and for ea to release the exact same cards in packs or something like that um and then all of a sudden we have still 200 special cards in packs that would be fantastic but i'm i think i'm a little bit hesitant on that because of how they've done things in the past with this pre season promo so it is nice to know though that shapeshifters will be in packs but it is a bit of a bummer again for me as we take a look at sbcs the player picks are going away today so if you want to stack a few of those you know they're going away hopefully they'll come back tomorrow on saturday because i mean if they're leaving us out here without upgrade packs to try to do saint max and salah yes you can do the 85 times 10s and the 85 times fives and that sort of thing um but the 82 plus player picks really really help out with crafting and if those are going to go away it's going to be a bummer for getting these other footies sbcs that are still lingering after the footies promo uh, getting them done before too long so that's just kind of my opinion there now also with the content today we've been getting objective content like crazy the past five weeks of footies we've been getting dynamic duos we've been getting just one-off footies favorite sbcs we have been getting the cup mode right which i just completed yesterday the france cup are we getting a cup mode today I don't expect one. I really don't because we've had five weeks in a row of these cut modes. I, I think it's ending. I really It's a kind of a bummer because for the past five weeks, we've been looking forward to these kind of, you know, objective modes. Maybe EA will come up with something today that will be some sort of an objective grind for either FIFA 23 packs or something related to FIFA 22 still. I wouldn't mind if they dropped another cut mode, um, but it's definitely not something that we usually see a part of the preseason promo. And it was a great addition to the footies promo this past couple of weeks so that's one thing that we've been looking to every week that we might not have today on the game it's kind of weird to not have that cut mode to be looking forward to it was weird not having the vote after kind of settling into that into that footies rhythm we're kind of going to be falling out of that if you will now there is one interesting thing that was you know tweeted and, and added to the code earlier this morning or, or last night it was a couple different packs, and it's the same pack, but there's two different ones. One is untradeable, and one is tradable. It is a 583 plus rare players pack. So it's an 83 times five. This offer contains 95, sorry, five players rated 83 or above, plus one icon moments lone player pick for five games. A lot of times when you have that like lone moments player pick in there, that means that it's a store pack. So this is really intriguing to me because if this is going to be a store pack and they're going to have a tradable one or an untradable one, if they drop just one of them, the market movements could be completely different. If they drop this one that it is tradable, you can see they're literally the exact same pack. They're just different because one's tradable and one is untradable. And it's not the same one. They have different ID numbers, 1310 and 1311. So this is what I'm really curious about. If they drop the tradable one in the store today, I don't know how much a 83 times five would be. Um, but I do know that that would mean whatever is in packs is going to get supplied a pretty good amount. Even some of your top tier cards that maybe are being re-released back into packs with the batch for preseason. So I would see a lot of supply there. I also think that high rated fodder would get destroyed even more and would just get supplied and supplied, even though it's already super duper cheap. That would go lower. Now, if the 83 plus times five is untradeable, probably would not move the market to crazy much now speaking of fodder today fodder prices are yes you guessed it low once again heading into this promo friday three and a half k for 84s 83s are 2,000 coins a piece that's crazy 85s are 5k 86s are 7k 
It's crazy how low this fodder is getting. Um, if it is no, if this pack that is released today is untradeable, I'm not expecting a lot of other tradable supply on the game today besides a little bit of weakening rewards. So I would think that we'd have a normal fluctuation with these fodder cards. Because again, we've got the 85 times 10 that is going to be refreshed today. I think you'd have your normal daily bump like we had yesterday. After Rivals Rewards, 3K for 84s, uh, all the way up 1,000 coins. Not a huge bump yesterday. But I think you would have a nice bump in price on that lower to middle tier range, especially if they dropped a showdown like this. A lot of people would want to go out and do that. 85 times 10, 85 times 5, 86 plus player pick. Continue to craft Salah, Neymar, all those other SBCs that are out. So there's still a lot of demand for the SBC fodder side of the market. Now, also today, what I'd watch out for is if you like to trade with the real low tier stuff, I'm talking the gold commons, maybe the silvers, that sort of thing. Watch that end of the market today very closely because if they drop, you know, like we were looking at at the beginning, those, you know, those warm up challenges. Those warm-up challenges oftentimes make some of these cards that are non-rares go up a lot from specific leagues and, and nations and links and positions as well. If you like trading with non-rares, definitely watch that corner of the market today because depending on what of those SBCs are released right away, watch, look at the requirements right away when you, when you get it after the content drop today. If there's any of those like warm-up objectives that give you FIFA 23 rewards, People, let's be honest, people are going to really jump to these SBCs that are going to give out FIFA 23 rewards. That's the whole big point of this promo, right? Because they feel like they can get ahead or they feel like they can get a jump start on the next FIFA. People are going to go all out for those. So you see last year, a lot of these SBCs were like 11K, 7.5K, 7.5K, 11K. So the warm-up challenge SBCs weren't that expensive, but I bet a lot of times SBCs like this in general, we've seen it in the past couple of weeks, even right now, with like the winning strategy SBC being 14,000 coins, that this SBC, like some people are paying seven, 8,000 coins per gold non-rare card for some of the most expensive ones. And, and they were doing like 30K for this SBC when it was first dropped. Watch that corner of the market today with whatever sort of like FIFA 23 pack that we get released today. Seriously, watch that really close because if you wanna trade that side of the market today, I think there will absolutely be a lot of movements there. And then again, like I said, it, a lot of your meta market today, like with your Ronaldo, your shapeshifter cards, um, your Marcelo, your son, you know, a, a guy like Hyunmin Son could be impacted in price today. Premier League strikers like Ginola, like Son, with the Darwin Nunez and the amount of hype that he has, depending on the price of that SBC, uh, you know, you have to be careful with a guy like Son today because people might sell this card to go do the Darwin Nunez if he's not super duper expensive. Um, or, you know, even Ginola, if the, the card for Nunez is super duper hype and super insane looking, of course, people will expect him to get that plus two upgrade with United uh, not looking so great right now as a club and performing that well. You know, they expect Liverpool to win. So that could cause some drops in your Premier League strikers, of course, regardless of them being in packs. But if any of the cards are in packs today, you know, like the ones that we have in the loading screen, like the Ronaldo and, and the Ginola, I still expect them to have a little bit of panic selling A this morning and B, I expect their prices to go a little bit lower. Now, of course, you could watch for fluctuations and knowing these cards are already down so much, people are panic selling them and that they're still really rare, you know, have an opportunity to trade with them or buy them at a low point today and then watch their price maybe rebound up a little bit. But in general, again, like I said earlier, if there's cards that you want for your team, I'm going to tell you to buy them because people are still going to go out and play weekend league. Let's be honest, right? A lot of the gameplay demand the past couple weeks has been that cup mode. Today, I think the biggest piece of gameplay that's going to be out there with demand is probably going to be foot champs. Without a cup mode, unless EA drop one, foot champs is going to be the place where everybody goes to try to get games in. And people are going to be going out and using and building squads with these brand new footies players that they have and using them and trying them out. So I think there is demand for Weekend League, even though it is this late in the game. So I think you'll see the market move a little bit around demand for that as well. Maybe some prices going up two to three hours after content as people go and buy up cards that they want to go use in their Weekend League team. So again, the biggest part of content today is really going to be A, how much do we have to grind for those FIFA 23 packs and rewards? Yes, it's cool. Yes, there's a bit of a, you know, feeling like you can get ahead a little bit in FIFA 23. But again, just a reminder, we'll talk about this a lot on the stream today as we drop into content drop live stream, twitch.tv slash the foot account, and we'll be there. Um, 
you gotta have to, you kind of have to measure the balance of, is it worth me spending this time right now to get this reward based off of how good the reward is going to be at the start of the game and how quality that reward is. So that's going to be the biggest kind of thing we're going to have to weigh today on the game is the grind going to be worth what the reward will be for the upcoming FIFA 23 ultimate team game with the content inside of preseason today. I hope that EA Sports drop a lot of cards in packs today. I hope the Nunez and the Ericsson SBC is very good value. And I hope it's a fun Friday. I really do because this footies promo is leaving us up here at the top. It doesn't get any better than this. And it's going to be hard for EA to hit that level today on a preseason promo Friday. Just me being honest, not trying to be, you know, downgrading or, or sad or anything, just being realistic. But I'm still excited for today because if the FIFA 23 rewards are good, I'm going to put in the work and I'm going to want to get some of those to start my FIFA 23 journey here in a couple month and a half or so off on a better foot than others that aren't playing the game right now or have a little bit of that extra advantage to get ahead of the startup next year. So that's going to be the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below how you're feeling heading into this Friday if you're sad to see footies go or if you're excited for preseason. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.